Hello students and welcome to AP Statistics. This will be an introduction on Chapter 1 and to AP Statistics in general uh, on exploring data. And we'll start off by looking at data analysis and making sense of data. So here we go. Some of the learning objectives that we'll have uh, for this first introductory section, section is that we should be able to identify the individuals and the variables, the individuals and the variables in a set of data. And then we should be able to classify those variables as either categorical or quantitative. Well, data analysis. Statistics, in general, is just the science of data. Data analysis is the process of organizing that data. We'll talk a little bit of how to gather data uh, together, and then we'll look at how to display it and summarize it using uh, some uh, numerical measures. And then, most importantly, being able to ask questions about the data. So we'll start off with a couple of vocabulary words at first. And we'll talk about what individuals are. Individuals are simply the objects that are being described by a data set. And we'll look at some examples in a second here. A variable is a characteristic about that individual. So we might be collecting data on uh, sophomores at a Dyna High School. Well, those would be the individuals. The variable uh, might be something that varies as much as hair color or height. Um, and we'll talk about the different types of measurements that we can do and categorize those. Because uh, variables can be categorized into two different areas. They can be called categorical variables. And those are variables that place this individual into one or several groups. Yeah, groups or categories. There's quantitative variables, and that takes on numerical values. So in the previous example that I was talking about, um, hair color, blonde, brunette, gray, silver, no hair, uh, those would be categorical variables uh, because it places into groups or categories. There's no numerical values for those, uh, where if I'm taking measure or uh, collecting the variable on height, well, those are numerical values. Uh, for it makes sense to find an average. I could add up all the heights of all the students, divide by how many we have, and find the mean height. The variable generally takes on many different values. So we're interested in how often, how often a variable takes on each value. And that's what we'll call a distribution. So there's our third vocabulary word, distribution. And that tells us what values a variable takes on and how often it takes those values. So as an example below, we've got several models of cars here and their miles per gallon. You can see lots of different miles per gallon for several different cars. Uh, so what we want to do is take that variable interest, that miles per gallon, and graph it. And we'll talk about how to make these dot plots in a later section. But there's a distribution. We can see this data a little bit more, how it's spread, kind of where its center is. Um, kind of how where it's clustered. Um, we'll talk a lot of formal uh, vocabulary words in terms of how to describe a distribution in a later section. But how do we explore data? Well, we examine each of the variable by itself, like we just did, and then study relationships among those variables. So always a good idea when you're gathering data is to organize that and start with a graph or several graphs take some numerical summaries and we'll learn how to use do some of the stuff on our calculator to find stuff like mean, uh, median, standard deviation, range, uh, IQR will be another one that we'll look at. Um, but don't worry about those, we'll talk about those when we get to them. But uh, again, when we're exploring data, we'll take that data, make some graphs of that data, find some numerical summaries of that data. Now, Furthermore, in analyzing data, uh, we'd like to make an inference about, uh, about the data 
that we've collected and make an inference about the population in general. So here's my population. It's sometimes nearly impossible to ask everybody within a population. It's either too expensive or too time consuming. So what we do a lot of times is just take a sample. And we'll learn how to take good samples and chapters further in, this, in the curriculum. Well, after, so we collect data from a representative sample. We'll do some data analysis on that. Uh, some of the basic stuff is like we talked about mean, median, uh, range, standard deviation. Uh, we'll look at more measures of data uh, analysis later. Uh, but again, we're going to keep probability in mind. We'll talk about probability later in this uh, material as well, too. And then once we do that, once we get uh, a good sample, form some data on it, we're going to make an inference about the population based on a good sample. So in a good sample, uh, you know, if it's taken well, and we do good analyzing of the data, we can pre make pretty good guesses about the population. And you see a lot of that done in election uh, years uh, where uh, people are surveyed uh, and asked about their political preferences or their, or their candidate, who they might vote for. Uh, we don't get the whole uh, answer uh, until we get election night. But those samples, if they're done well, uh, can sort of help us predict a little bit on where uh, the election might fall. So... In the summary, uh, what we learned is that data, data sets contain information on individuals. Individuals, those are the uh, members of the population that we're taking measurements on. And for each individual, data gives us for one or more variables. Okay, so we're going to collect different variables. And again, those variables could be categorical, or those variables could be quantitative. In categorical or groups, uh, where there's no numerical measurements, quantitative are data that is collected that we can do math on. The distribution of a variable describes what value it takes and how often, how often it takes them. And then inference, kind of a big word that's really the uh, from chapters uh, ten, 9 and 10, 11 and 12 when we get there is a big part of it's about a you know, 25 to 50 percent of our uh, AP exam uh, inference is the process of making a conclusion about a population based on the sample data. So again, taking a sample set of data and then trying to make a guess on what the population really is. All right. Well, again, welcome to AP Statistics. Uh, we're going to have a great year, and uh, at this point. Uh, you should be able to uh, answer the questions in your homework on Day 1, Chapter 1, Introduction, and be able to do problems numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 8. All right, good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.